Hello, it's Sarah Kimmel, and today I'm not talking about Facebook, I promise. Um, but I am going to be talking about my new, um, well, not so new anymore, but my Windows Phone 7. This is the HTC Arrive. Um, I actually received it from Qualcomm uh, when I was at Blogher, and um, I received another one from uh, HTC themselves. So, um, Blogger was a lot of fun for me w uh, in that aspect. Um, I set the phone up for my sister and liked it so much as I was setting it up for her, I decided to keep the one that uh, I got from Qualcomm. So I got the one from HTC and I got the one from Qualcomm, so now me and my sister both have the HTC Arrive. Um, the reason I'm talking about it now, though, is because the Mango update has arrived. It's Windows Phone 7.5, uh, and the code name for the uh, latest update to the operating system was called Mango. So uh, this phone now has the Mango operating system on it, and I'm going to take you on a little tour of um, some of my favorite features on the phone. Um, first, you can see that the, um, the phone has a really gorgeous lock screen. Um, on the lock screen, you'll see um, your next appointment coming up, the date and time, um, and if you have any emails or notifications, they will also appear um, right down here. So we're going to go ahead and bring that up. This is the main home screen for Windows Phone 7. And if I scroll over to the right, now I had heard that they were going to be adding these alphabet buttons for the applications um, screen and you know because this is just a big long um, list of applications and I thought you know I probably won't use those um, alphabet buttons very often I guess you know it just doesn't take very long to flip through and find the app that you're looking for but I have found that I actually use these app um, these alphabet buttons a lot so um, you know, mostly I'll just, you know, you click on the alphabet, go down here to there, and then you can open up your marketplace, you know. It's all very quick, and um, and I love these alphabet buttons, and I totally didn't think I was going to. Um, so aside from the alphabet buttons, something else that has been added in the Mango update um, is this great little back button. If you press and hold the back button, you're going to be able to flip through your most recently used applications. Um, promise I haven't been playing Plants vs. Zombies during the day. Of course not. Um, anyway, so you can flip through your most recent applications, and here's my email. I can flip right back to email um, without missing a beat. So um, that's really fun um, to be able to do that. I, you know, coming from um, a palm, when um, I had the Palm Pre before I had my last phone, which was the Android um, HTC Evo Shift, which I really did love that phone as well. Um, but at, like I said, as I was setting up my sister's phone, uh, who had the who I was giving the HTC Arrive to, um, I really enjoyed the phone. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to use uh, Windows Phone 7 as well. Anyway, so that is um, the alphabet and the back button. Um, the live tiles with the Mango update have become what I'm saying livier. Um, live tiles have always been, you know, notifications. So you can see my calendar live tile. I've got my most recent um, appointment right there. You know, there's a lot of real estate here. I would like to see Windows Phone 7 um, add, you know, your next like two or three appointments. Um, so, or maybe even like to-do lists if um, right on the live tile because there's the space for it, and I think um, I think that would be helpful. Um, and so it's always had notifications for the um, things that are kind of inherent in the operating system, like the email. Um, you can see this is also something new in the Mango update is an integrated inbox. So I actually have all of my email accounts um, mainly associated with this um, screen right here so that I can see um, the emails that are coming in from uh, from all of my different email addresses and I don't have to click it used to be you know each email address would have its own tile so um, so besides the live updates that are happening on the regular things um, live updates are now happening even better on um, other applications that you've downloaded or have purchased. So, you know, you can see on this one, this is my um, 
RSS reader and I can see the title and the blog of the next um, uh, thing that I haven't read. And you can see there's four items that I haven't read on that. Uh, there's one new item in my Evernote um, and just a lot more is happening on the live tiles now with the Mango update. Um, also in the Pictures Hub, um, you are now able to set your favorite pictures and the background of the Pictures Hub will flip through your favorite pictures. So you can see right here, if you watch this for a minute, it's going to have my daughter and then it'll flip and show you something different. And I've always just liked how all the live tiles just, and so now it's flipped to a different picture. Um, really come alive. Um, that's why they're called live tiles. Anyway, um, what people are saying about uh, Windows Phone 7 is that it's kind of anti-app. Uh, and the reason they're saying that is because uh, when you, like, things that you are really interested in are just integrated into the software. And here's what I mean when I say that. So if I look at this Me Hub, if I had a notification on Twitter or on Facebook or on LinkedIn, any of those, it will have like two notifications right here. So I can click on my, my Me tile and look at the different notifications. So I can see these people commented on my Facebook status. Um, Vicky mentioned me in a tweet. Hello, Vicky. Um, and it's all just integrated into these notifications within Windows Phone 7 itself. You don't have to open up a separate application. You don't have to get notifications from a separate application. It's all just in the operating system, which I completely love. Um, so, oh, and also within the Me status, you can check in with Foursquare. It's going to look for places nearby. Um, and you can post a message. And, um, so again, what I say about like integration, set chat status, I'm chatting available. So um, Facebook, text messages, um, all of those different chats can appear in here. So um, uh, again, I'll show you how that works with the messaging. Um, I've got a thread between me and my husband. And so right now this came from Facebook, but this came from a text, but they're all within the same screen and I can switch and I can text his mobile or I can um, message him on Facebook um, and then I just put it in here it says Trevor is offline try texting instead but it's all going to be within the same thread in the operating system um, which is great when you can have all these different conversations and it's all located right there um, so and then on to the people hub again all of the um, different news that you want to see is integrated right into the People Hub. So all of the people that I am actually friends with and contacts with are going to show up um, right here with their most recent status updates. And these are the people I have recently interacted with. And I can go ahead and click on my brother and I can call him at, on his mobile, call his house right on his Facebook wall. It's all going to be just right in here. Um, so those are like the really wonderful things I think about Windows Phone 7. Um, the one thing I don't like about this screen right now is the fact that it says it's 37 degrees where I am. I'm not a fan. Anyway, um, so the other couple things that when most Windows Phone 7s will also have this integrated camera button. So if I am completely turned off, and like normally you would turn it on, you know, go to the camera app and do whatever. If I press and hold the camera button, it's going to op open me up right to a camera. And I can take a picture and it's super fast. Um, it's also got this integrated volume button for when I want to play music um, with my Zune software. And then just a feature on this specific device is my favorite thing, the hardware keyboard. The hardware keyboard. Um, I'm obsessed with the hardware keyboard. I can't stand a software keyboard. So this is actually the perfect phone for me. It's gorgeous. Um, just open up you know, some of these applications. Um, with IMDB, you can see how um, just beautiful the user interface is um, on Windows Phone 7. Uh, it's just a really 
uh, artistic, uh, visual phone and I couldn't be happier. So thank you Microsoft for a wonderful phone. Thank you HTC for the free phone. Uh, and thank you Qualcomm also for the free phone because there is a Snapdragon processor inside this phone. Make it lickety split. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the tour of my Windows Phone 7 and I hope to see you next week.